Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us. Our rolling coverage continues of who really has the final numbers as far as Maharashtra is concerned. We're getting visuals coming in now. We're understanding Sharad Pawar, in fact, has reached YB Chavan. This is where the meeting for the Sharad Pawar camp is going to take place. You're also getting visuals coming in from the Ajit Pawar camp, which still continues to claim that they have upwards of 40 with them. They believe they're extremely confident that they'll be able to avoid the anti-defection law. The Sharad Pawar camp also extremely confident as far as their numbers are concerned. So now visuals that are coming in are from the YB Chavan Center. We are now understanding Sharad Pawar, in fact, has reached the meeting venue. We'll have to see what is the kind of uh, speech that he say, gives to the Karekartas because a short while ago we were getting leaders who were speaking who were with Ajit Pawar. We heard from Chagan Budwal who, in fact, said that we request Sharad Pawar also to come and bless us. It's also very interesting that the picture that has been put out at the Ajit Pawar camp also has a picture of Sharad Pawar. So now visuals coming in from the YB Chavan Center where you in fact have Sharad Pawar who in fact has reached the venue. Remember both camps extremely confident as far as the number game is concerned. Both camp feeling that they have upwards of 40 which means they will have the majority because by the end of the day, when we have clarity of where the numbers stand, either of the camp will today claim to be the real NCP. Mayuresh, our colleague now joining us on the broadcast. So Mayuresh, we're finally getting visuals of the NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar reaching the YB Chavan Centre. Help us understand in terms of numbers, the people, the MLAs that you've already seen there. So far, if I say that 12 MLAs, including one independent MLA, have come here to show their support. I'll read out the name. Kiran Lamate, Ashok Pawar, Rohit Pawar, Devendra Bhujar, who's an independent one, but he has come here. Rajendra Shingne, Anil Deshmukh, Jitendra Awad, Rajakta Tanpure, Jayant Patil, Sandeep Shinsagar, Bala Sahib Patil, and Chetan Tupin. These all are the MLAs. Now, if you talk about uh, Lok Sabha MP, we have Srinivas Patil, Supriya Sule, Amol Kohle, and Fauzia Khan. Fauzia Khan is also Rajya Sabha MP. Uh, if you talk about MLC, that is Shashikant Shinde and Baba Jani Durani. These two MLCs have also joined. So certainly we, uh, we can say that the support, is, Pawar is also getting the support. It's not the case that all the MLS have gone to Ajit Pawar camp. What Vinaya was basically telling us, the number exactly, but slowly, gradually, uh, MLAs are com coming here also. I'll ask my camera son, uh, Swapnil to show you the visuals here, if you could see. Pawar has just arrived. The meeting was supposed to start at 1 o'clock, but now it's already 1.35. Uh, uh, and uh, we have been given to understand, now Sharad Pawar will directly go to the YB Chavan Centre Hall, and he will uh, address uh, the MLAs, MLCs, MPs who have joined here. If you remember, it was Amol Kohle, whom we saw in the for that swearing and ceremony in the Raj Bhavan. But now Amol Kohle has come here and he has extended his support to Sharad Pawar. Back to you. Right, so as Mayuresh was pointing out, this is very interesting. Some MLAs who in fact were at the oath taking of Ajit Pawar when he became the Deputy Chief Minister have already jumped back to Sharad Pawar's camp and are still saying that we are loyal to Sharad Pawar because NCP is all about Sharad Pawar. So as Sharad Pawar has reached the YB Chavan Centre, there is a development and drama that's happening at both the camps. So we are understanding there are about 12 MLAs currently at the Sharad Pawar camp, but we'll still have to get more clarity because this number could increase in hours to come as well. So hectic developments happening at both the camps currently. Uh, Mayuresh, so this is interesting. This will worry Ajit Pawar because these were people who were there with him when he was sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister. If they've already shifted, then that confidence will also go down because if he doesn't have 35 to 36, then anti-defection law will kick in. Absolutely. The, what the claim Ajit Pawar faction was making that uh, he has got support of all MLAs. Every time whenever we have asked him what exactly is the number, how many MLAs you have got. Because see, we have to understand this battle is for party as well as the uh, constituent, we can say, uh, legislative uh, party. So this battle is between two. Right now, the uh, 
the number which we are looking is important for the to make a claim on legislative party because the decision regarding the symbol decision regarding our, our, our party name will be taken by election commission after going through all the papers and that's why both the faction have started uh, filing the affidavit or uh, filling the affidavit from all the party workers to show the number so uh, we have to understand that this is the double battle one battle which uh, which 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 will be played outside the maharashtra assembly it is a battle for the party and the symbol and another battle which will be played for the uh, uh, party which is uh, we can say legislative party and because you see legislative party has got importance because they will be controlling yeah. inside the assembly whatever the decisions will be taken if uh, if a if a leader has got a control over legislative party then the final word of that leader get considered for the legislative party uh, and that's why if if ajit pawar wins that battle of legislative party if he wins the legislative party he, if he gets the control of legislative party then certainly he gets uh, he certainly uh, give a unconditional support uh, we can say to bjp and uh, shiv sena government as he is also part of that government and also uh, he can save himself as well as his mlas from the 10th schedule because if he doesn't have the number then uh, there is only one option that he has to merge himself in some other political party he cannot claim that he is ncp or else he will have to face the disqualification right so as mayuresh is pointing out they are things are getting very interesting with each passing hour sharad pawar has just reached the vibe chavan center there was bursting of crackers huge sloganeering huge so a show of supporters of sharad pawar as well uh there are developments that are happening at the meeting where ajit pawar and his supporters are also there going back to mayuresh who continues to track these developments mayuresh still in terms of numbers are sources within the sharad pawar camp willing to give a final number the confirmation that they believe is already in their kitty see right now they are not revealing the exact numbers what we are doing uh, what numbers or what names i have uh, basically read out it's the mlas mlcs mps we saw entering the yb chavan center and on the basis of that we have given but now once the meeting will start sharad pawar faction have to basically declare that how many mlas he has got the support of the mlas the support of the mps he has got so it would be interesting to see because we just need to wait for few more a uh, few more minutes once sharad pawar is inside uh, he will start making his speech and we will come to know that how many mlas mps and mlcs are there with sharad pawar right so as mayuresh is pointing out it could be a matter of minutes before sharad pawar starts addressing the workers the karyakartas then we will have a lot more clarity of where the numbers currently stand so right now all of this is still play by the minute things could drastically change because as mayuresh was pointing out some mlas who in fact were with ajit pawar when he was being sworn in as the deputy chief minister just 3 days ago have already jumped their shift back up at least one of them at least has come back to the sharad pawar camp so every development is really changing as we go and the next few hours are going to be very very interesting what is also very crucial to note here is the future as far as the stability of the maharashtra government is concerned and the reason that we are saying this is because now you're getting murmurs and reactions coming in from the shinde faction as well who don't seem to be very happy with the ncp coming on board just in the morning we got a reaction coming in from one of the mlas of the shinde faction who in fact has gone on to say that many within the shinde faction now feeling that their cloud has reduced they will not get a larger piece of the pie many of them were waiting to get portfolios when the cabinet expansion happens and now they feel their chances will be taken over by the ncp and the others who've decided to join hands with the maharashtra government and this is something that in fact was confirmed by praful patel when he was speaking to our colleague vinaya desh pandey that the ncp has also come with certain expectations so the expectations that they, they will be given meteor role so the challenge for the chief minister eknath shinde in fact will be huge to try and strike that perfect balance but just going back to the visuals that are now coming in from the yb chavan center on your screens you can see the ncp supremo sharad pawar who's reached the center as of now we're understanding that about 11 to 12 mlas who currently there at the yb chavan center we are expecting sharad pawar to speak to the karyakartas the supporters these mlas who are present at yb chavan center and then we'll get more clarity or what the exact number is mayuresh continues to be with